Hi guys, uh, thank you so much T. Um, uh, we are discussing uh, domestic violence uh, today in Ladies Corner and I'm so glad um, to be here to part of um, this amazing opportunity. My name is Manu Bajwa and I'm here to actually uh, share some of my own experience and what I have seen in the community um, as a um, I wouldn't say survivor, but as uh, experienced, I would say that uh, uh, what is domestic abuse, first of all? <clears throat> what is domestic violence? We have to understand that. Anything that you are not feeling comfortable, that you are basically let, let, let down by others, by loved ones, you are not allowed to uh, redefine yourself, where your definition of yourself does not coincide with somebody else that is kind of abuse but now abuse can be verbal abuse can be uh, okay. physical it can be emotional it can be spiritual and it can be financial abuse as well so you have to understand what if in any of those areas you are not understood you are not expressed you are not heard to me that is a definition of abuse now we need to understand that abuse does not only affect the person basically who's getting abused, it also affects the other people who are around us, our loved ones, our parents, our kids, especially our children. So it's not only up to you to stand up for yourself, but when you stand up for yourself, you should know that you are standing up for your children, you are standing up for so many people around you, and you are setting an example for yourself as a very empowered human being and an example for other person basically who will be looking at you in futures the generations to come so uh, in, in our community there are lots and lots of resources that you can reach out and we are actually um, forming a charity that will help uh, on a big big level uh, where actually will come together with like-minded people to help understand what is abuse not to the only victims but in a way abusers as well because there's always a psychology behind it that why this person is doing what they're doing and i, I really believe that everybody really wants to be loved and loved but what goes wrong what really happens we have to understand the both sides of the story so i i encourage everybody to realize what is abuse and how to empower yourself to redefine yourself and how to feel empowered i think that's the most amazing thing to rediscover yourself as a human being where you basically have a say that you know what this is my life this is the definition of what i want to be defined as and that definition is truly truly yours that to me as an empowered person as a man or a woman so please uh, make other people aware about it be aware yourself and help other people around you if you see anybody is in an abusive relationship and uh, I think we, with that I can only hope that we form a very empowered and educated society thank you so much T and I really really appreciate this thank you hi guys my name is Milady Cristancho and I'm here to talk about and continue on this amazing conversation and panel about domestic abuse and it's affecting so many parts of the relationship um, no sometimes affecting the woman, also affecting the men but in mostly the cases are the women being affected by the love by the men are with because they are depending on financial immigration they depending on love because we as women are here for love sharing and all the stuff so we let the men treat us that way so what it has to say today um you women sit me there um just stand for yourself love yourself empower yourself to be a better woman because maybe one day or you already have a kids their kids gonna be affecting for all this damage so this is the important thing it's my tip for you 
en que independent financial because all, uh, one of the things also is when they are depending on the men and no has the money or how standard sell is kind of difficult to get out from this relationship if you decided keep your relationship just stand in yourself and love yourself that way you can no let it, that person step on you anymore in the way you can be more healthy mm. and more empowered and mm. you can get time to yourself mm. and that way you don't have to be with this person you everything mm. and found friends talk about no be scared is no your only case as so many women out there need it so please Stand yourself, talk to someone. We are here for help you and thank you so much. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Alicia Nancashire and I am Nick and Dismo from Miss Noble Canada. My platform is domestic violence and a little bit about me, I am actually a survivor um, of domestic violence and I know it is not something simple to go through. It's not something that um, everybody puts themselves in. It is not happening to you because you deserve it. Nobody deserves to be abused. And that does not matter whether it's financial abuse, emotional, mental, or physical. Uh, abuse can happen in many different forms and shapes. And it dribbles down into your family lifeline. So it goes to your children. A lot of times in families especially, uh, your kids are exposed to that. And whatever your kids see, that's what they're gonna grow up to becoming. And that's what they're gonna think it's normal. So for me, I felt the need to actually stand for myself, be empowered and being confident in what I really wanted. Um, as I experienced the domestic abuse, I always thought that I was deserving of that. And I think a lot of times we try to reach out to our family members because they're closer and we feel the judgment from them because we don't mm. want to be perceived as mm. failures in our relationship. And I think mm. that's important as well because as a person who is in control of your own life, you determine where it stops and when it stops. Uh, you have to be so empowered, and as the two other panelists have said already, you need to make the decision to begin the journey of stopping the abuse. Now, stopping the abuse does not mean that you necessarily have to leave the relationship, but it's putting a value in yourself and putting a value on your, your own life. Uh, because you are the woman, you are the one that is the root of the home. <clears throat> If you are to love your children and show them love, they will actually learn from that. So I think it's really important to stand empowered uh, and reach out to your community. There's many women and men in our daily society that actually experiences quite a lot of abuse. And I think it's something that we need to be a little bit more vocal about and try to get the word out there. So uh, together we are planning many different things in the future so that we can come together and make this an empowering situation and have less stats showing in Canada of this abuse. So um, it's obviously a stigma that doesn't get a lot of light sh shined upon it. Um, and we need to make sure that we're empowered and empowering different type of women using your community to ensure that we bring more light to, to this to the stigma for sure. Sorry, could I ask you Alicia there, who supported you through that situation? I think a lot of times you turn to your family and I think a, a huge thank you actually to my parents, my mom and my siblings who actually helped me go through a better a, a change or help me become a little stronger um, and kind of stand by my decision. Of course, before I was able to reach out to them, I always thought that they would judge me and judge my, my marriage because it was now a failure. Um, but I think our family members are the ones that we can turn to easier um, and, and just realize that at the end of the day, they're not judging you. It's a situation that you need to make a decision about whether I'm going to allow being abused or I'm going to stand for myself and say, no, I've had enough and I want to be happy. I deserve to be happy. Finding your self-worth is really important. So a uh, huge thank you to my family who've been there for me from day one. Um, and, and even though I know it's really hard sometimes for someone else out there to actually understand what you as a person is going through. So even though I might try to explain to my mom several times that you don't understand what I go through, 
it's hard for her to understand that because she's a woman of confidence and she knows she's done a great job with her family and growing her children, myself, as a very strong, independent woman. But it starts with you. You, as the one who's been abused, you have to make the decision to say, I've had enough, I'm going to make a stand. Make the decision today and then you can follow the path that you need to take in order for you to get to your results that you wanted. Yeah, at the same time, I feel like uh, we, um, and certainly time, we confuse him with love, right? So we say, oh, I love this man, and this is my, and my mom, my life, months of life, and this is the person I want to share all my life, and I give him a <coughs> kid for love, and this kid has to raise him with a father, and we just keep continuing the same environment, but it's not healthy, it's not good for your child. Because it's the most important thing, and I'm very proud of Alicia because she took the decision of not letting his amazing boy, his son, let it see all this pain, let it see all this damage that he's causing in that relationship. So it is not only your family can help you, also it's here in Alberta, and let me tell you guys, no, imagine how many um, society, no, how many charities, charities organizations, cons, uh, like go to your church. You can even doesn't matter what religion you are, but so many spiritual um, leaders. leaders help you to get out from this situation. So mm -hmm. no stop <coughs> yourself to say, oh, my family no support me. Oh, my friends no support me. Nobody understand me. So if you believe in any religion, go to your spiritual leader and help yourself. Thank you. Hmm. See, I also want to add that, you know, marriage is in, in, in institution. And I mean, it will not be like movies, of course, right? And then it's not that always like your husband or your wife will come home with flowers and, uh, you know, uh, or champagne. So it's in a constant work. And, and it's lots of compromises and sacrifices as well. But I think what is the most important thing is in marriage that I understand that basically when you are not undervalued in a relationship, mm -hmm. that is when you see that, you know what, I'm valued. And not necessarily that if you're a homemaker that you are not contributing. Actually, I think they're in the most underpaid uh, job. That's the most underpaid job. And I think for, for most part, women actually are not thinking they're worthy of love or they're worthy oh. of something better. Mm -hmm. I think first, you, if you redefine your own worthiness, if you know that, you know, I'm worth more and not necessarily that you, the only solution is not to walk out or break all the barriers just to prove that you're empowered. I think empowerment is redefined in these days well, what fit best for you and your family. Yeah. How are you going to make it all inclusive of everybody? And how actually you, you redefine and reinvent yourself as a woman? I think that's the most empowerment. Mm -hmm. But then if you are in danger, if your kids are in danger, there is physical Perfect. abuse. I urge women to get help because nobody deserves one person to raise hand on another human being. We do not understand. We most of the people think they're doing this for kids. Your kids do not deserve to see that one person is better than or the one person is superior than the other person. They deserve to see their household as an wow. equal yeah. opportunity, an equal shared expression, an equal identity. And when where is there is love, there is mutual understanding. And there is a shared respect, mm -hmm. the respect yeah. for actually your family and yeah. same respect yeah. for your kids as well. So I believe that when you're when you're making when you're making a household, you not only define your values, you actually help other people to see their value as well. And in a marriage, it's like it's like two hands giving and taking at the same time. So not only take, but also try to give as well, just to make that an equal relationship. I think that's the definition of a marriage as well, right? 
So yeah. thank you so much. Okay, your final thoughts. We start with you, my lady. What's the last thing you'd like to say? Have the last word on. I just want to say thank you for the time. Thank you for watching this amazing video. And thank you for listening to this amazing woman uh, share a very nice histories. It is not nice in the moment, uh, but by now, how they empower themselves to keep going. So remember, the life no ends because you mm. are fa fair. You, you may be failed in the moment. You are not failed in the moment. It's okay, fail. It's yeah. okay, fail because when you when you stand yourself again, mm -hmm. you're gonna stand strong. You're true, gonna keep true. going. So you're gonna keep going yourself, and you're gonna find better opportunities out there. You know, imagine so many good men or so many good women out there. So many of them, like maybe. Uh, follow like a spiritual life uh, or like um, follow this kind of good values of their family and they're gonna respect you and love you like a princess or they're gonna respect you because men are very also being in domestic violence so so many women over there they're gonna care for you love you like you know no lady nobody step on you there's so many opportunities out there if it that man not the man or the woman, no words, leave it. If you thinking you can save in your relationship, keep going, but empower yourself. Has identity, identity, like as woman or as man. Like love yourself, this is start, and then everything comes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alicia, last words? Uh, yes, I think it's important to know that you're not alone in this situation. There's many people, both men and women, who are actually experiencing what you are. And I think it's important that you actually find value in yourself before you can accept where you want to go. So finding the value in, in who you really are and treating yourself the way you deserve to be treated. It starts with you, for sure. So for example, if you have um, value in your, in, your, in your own self and you have your, your belief system in you, then you will to tolerate no less. Yeah. So believing in yourself first and believing that there is a lot more support than there is out there. Thank you. You know, the journey starts by one person, I would say. Uh, when you're empowered enough, you don't get, you, like, it's good to have a support system, but Sometimes, if, 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 if it's not there, that's not the case. You're not alone. There are so many people who have experienced similar kind of trauma, and you will find somebody as long as you're willing to find. Exactly. So I think the willingness starts from you, because you deserve better, I deserve better, and everybody else deserves better as well. So living in an abusive relationship, we are not doing a favor to anybody. We are just compromising everybody around us. So speak up for yourself speak up for your sisters or your brothers speak up for people who cannot speak at the moment and make them better make them understood make them valued and make them that we really care and and without judgment talk about this because this is see we have to first of all acknowledge that this exists once we acknowledge it exists then we can talk about it so i think the talk or the awareness is the main thing. Once we are aware, then we have lots and lots of people who would pour their hearts in. I have so many amazing experiences where basically, when I share my story, people are pouring their stories. Mm -hmm. And they feel love, there's amazing connection. Mm -hmm. You will find that, but we need you to understand that, that it starts from you, it starts from me, and there's only you that you can help. Nobody can help you unless you stand up. Yeah. So thank you so much, T, for thank you. making this amazing for all I, of us. I want to add you. the last, the last, the last thing. You know, um, if you take the decision and you are awareness of this, go in internet. Now we are in, 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 in internet, you just put domestic violence, you just put anything that guides you to look in the solution. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.